Hi there, thanks for joining me after the sermon. Today we're still in a series on revival and we noticed today that one of the distinguishing marks of true revival is true repentance. And we saw that in Jonah chapter three. Now, I want you to listen as I read Romans chapter 15 verse four because this is, this is, this is a foundation for understanding what we're supposed to do with the Old Testament. Romans 15, four says, whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction. And so that's, so when we read anything in the Old Testament, it is there to instruct us. And so the repentance that is seen in this great revival in Jonah chapter three is actually in the scriptures, not just to describe a historical reality that happened some 2,800 years ago but also to show us what true repentance looks like. And all of that's interesting. All of that is, is critical to see. Here's what the repentance looked like in the people of Nineveh. And uh, God decided as a result of their, their trusting in him, chapter three, verse five, and then the marks of repentance to show that they were sincere. Yeah, God decides to forgive them and to uh, relent, it says, from the disaster that he had planned. But all of that is there so that we will examine our own lives and determine whether or not our repentance is sincere, just like the Ninevites were. And so I would encourage you to go watch the message if you haven't done it and, and, and allow the truth of God's word to help you see yourself in the text. I often say that, that the goal is that what the Bible says about your life number one, and, and your life, number two, that they match, that they come together, that you see your biography in the words of scripture. Because as you do that, you have the assurance that God is at work in your life, saving you and changing you, making you more like, uh, like his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I don't want to give all that away, but I really want you to watch. And so if you haven't watched, you should. You should go see what are the marks of true repentance and, and do I have those marks? Can I see those characteristics in my own life so that there is a clear difference between the person I used to be and the person I am now? And it's not because of some rituals. It's not because of some process of, uh, of change that somebody put me on and forced on me. No, it's, it actually came from the inside out because God gave me new life and that new life started being lived out of my life seen in, in a life that was changed. And so I hope that'll be helpful for you. And I know it's helpful for the, the dozens of people that I got a chance to talk to today blew their minds, some of them in tears, grateful that God would, uh, would, would do that in their lives and praying that God would do that in those they love. And so go watch that. You'll be encouraged. You'll be equipped to help somebody else. Or hopefully, either way, the text will examine your life and you'll be able to see God's work in your life. I hope that's the result. So go watch it. Thanks for watching after the sermon.